All right, I think that should do it. I think we should be online. And good to go. At least that's what I hope, of course. So let me just get the story out. And then we're good to go. How's everyone been? I, Ashish, I'm already aware that you're here. Heard that your day wasn't too great. And I hope this stream will lighten up your mood a little bit. There we go. All right. You good now? Great. All right. I'm relieved to hear that. Yeah, let's see. We we have some things to do today. We really do. Is sound fine? Just let me know if volume is all right and got my drink ready. So Also quickly just um, share this with someone. There we go. Everything's fine, both sides of the video. Great, nice. So maybe I have learned a thing or two on our journey so far. That's good. Just one moment. I'm gonna tie the microphone cord to the stand really quick just so it doesn't wobble around too much critic it's up for some roll we are lots of rolling today of course we still try to practice parrying more but uh yeah we probably will be forced to do some rolling as well right let's quickly see yeah desktop audio should be recording as well and yeah, that nice. There we are. You know what the worst feeling is? The worst feeling is it's the mid mid of January and you've all already used up almost all of your Christmas sweets. Ah, oh, that's that's not good. I have almost no snacks anymore so uh yeah we have a few things to do first things first uh we will backtrack here find the person in the bell gargoyle tower the same thing happening in november oh is that when um that where you have this this whole thing about uh fasting and then you get to eat sugar again is it that What do you mean in, in November? So already a little earlier. Uh, I do remember that we need to watch out for the minions that will keep attacking us upstairs, but... Ah, and him as well, right. It's been a long time since we've been here. It feels like an eternity almost. Is he not seeing us anymore? Oh, now he's coming. All right. Come on. Ah. It's festive season prim primarily because of Diwali. What's that? I've never heard of that, I think. Nice. That was a parry. Good. Well, yeah, that's my plan. Uh, we are going here to do something about the curse. That is what I'm planning to do here. Because this is where we get the the stone that cures it. That's the plan. A Hindu festival. Ah, yeah. Oh, nice. 
already learning new things here. I just really need to watch out for my health. I shouldn't get too self-confident. One more down. One more down. I really need to practice my range more. I always think it's so much longer than it actually is. Because the handle of the halberd is so damn long, but the character doesn't actually use it. it just basically wields it like a slightly longer sword. Right. So now, by going up here, that should bring us to the Bell Demon Tower. Go, 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 go. Luckily, the uh, gargoyles do not reawaken here. <laughs> that would be terrible. And here is the person I believe we need to talk to. So, let's see. Hi there. Greetings. Just in time. Well, I hope so. Um, well, of course, now I can't really ask anyone what absolution means. I could look it up, but I just won't. And there's the pur purging stone. Great. Uh, so we will immediately purchase that one. And maybe see... No, we can't actually sell anything here. Mm, it's a shame. Oh, those are very expensive. Wow. You're not welcome anytime. It is only human to commit a sin. Ah, I think uh, absolution will would be if we kill an NPC or something. So I don't think we need that right now. Everything alright? Wait a minute. Just quickly turning off the camera. Now you can <laughs> go through the picture. Nice. There we go. All right. My watch just quickly needed something. All right. There we go. Um, ah, I think I need to switch to inventory. And then... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's get rid of this curse and never be cursed again. <laughs> There we go. Oh, nice. Rafa, what's up? Hey, good having you here. How's your day been? <laughs> yeah, finally we have uh, our health back. That was... I really did play uh, Blight Town on hard mode. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we... Do we... Do we use some of our souls and try to purchase another one so we could use that later? I'm not sure if that's worth it. Mostly reading and chilling. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. Uh, my, day was, my day was quite pleasant as well. We went for a walk outside. It was very nice weather. We uh, got to see two cranes uh, that were just looking for fish in the river. And that was cool and also uh it's actually way cooler it seems that the the river where we went for our walk uh it, it was it used to be a little higher and then the water sank and because it's so cold uh some of the water crystallized and froze around some branches that were hanging into the water and it was maybe not that easy to imagine but uh it, it basically used it basically looked like a kind of tea bags hanging from the trees into the water because of the frozen uh, clumps that were around it and that was super cool so yeah it was a great day so far after that i um i played some ring fit adventure that was exhausting but it's always great very very good game can only recommend it uh and yeah now we're streaming and i'm looking forward to whatever comes next Let's see how much this soul gives us. 2,000. Not too bad. Uh, 
Well, let's just one, use one of the very small ones. Nice. Perfect. But yeah, reading and chilling, that, that sounds great. So I'll I'll just for for just in case something like that ap ever happens to us again, I will purchase this one and we'll keep it for later. So that just in case we ever fall down some weird hole again, we can actually get rid of it right away. I don't want that to happen again and then have to walk all the way back here. Great. So that's that. First goal of the day achieved. Nice. Next goal is going back to Firelink and uh, talking to the weird brown snake thing that's just uh, kind of appeared there. Eager to see what it has to say. Yeah, I'm super happy too, Ashish. It's, it's been way too long <laughs> since we've caught this this damn curse. It was so annoying. What happens if I jump down there? No, I, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk getting stomped by the, the other mobs after losing half my health to falling. <laughs> Ah, isn't this... Ah, th this is the lift, I remember. So, this is the direct path back to Firelink. Amazing. Mm. Not too sure if it's worth reversing our hollowing. Not entirely certain. I mean, there is these new people in our area that apparently have something against the undead. I don't know if it makes any difference that we're hollow, though. We could try it. And I think that's what we're going to do. Right after we... Wait, who are you? I don't think I know him. I was the the guy we had rescued, I think. Uh huh. All right. Hmm. Not at all. Wait. What? What does that mean? How do you answer to to which question? Is it the answer to the question if I want to learn magic or if I found uh, if I find magic to be unsavory? This is so unclear, but I assume that I would assume that this means if I find magic unsavory and get it. Uh I don't want to make any mistakes now. Oh, really? No, 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 no. But it, uh, it's your choice. I'm on the fringe. Yeah, I know. It. I'm dead or not, that's who I am. Hmm. I only wish that, that, that I could have repaid you somehow. Can I talk to him again? Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. Oh, and uh, if by chance you've had a chance. Ah, okay. Part, we can still. I'll be pleased to assist you by sharing my spell. That was so stupid. Like, the question he asks is literally if we if we think magic is a bad thing. So I was under the impression if I reply with no, I would tell him that I have no problem whatsoever with magic. What is this? Uh, so yeah, let's choose yeah, yes wonderful. this time. I'm sure uh. no, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, All right. Let's take this. Hmm. Pyromancy Flame. From the great swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyro. <laughs> right, let's get started right now. That that was quick. So we can purchase some things from him. 
Fire Orb, Combustion, Iron Flash. But uh, they are all pyromancies. F flash, Sweat, Fireball. That one is very cheap though. But requires 8 slots. Is that how that works? Um, Pyromancy of Carmina. So that I suppose that's his name. Who harnessed the power of flame to actualize the inner self. Intense sweating reduces flame damage. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's a life hack that firefighters would like to know about. <laughs> just, just go in there. Your sweat will prevent you from getting any burns. Carmina, the most accomplished pupil of Salomon, the master pyromancer, pioneered new directions for the art of pyromancy. Okay. Uh, I already need to open up our our notepad just to write down that we met... Where is he? Here. Uh, Carmina is the pupil of Salomon, the master pyromancer. There we go. All right. Uh, there's the standard, the standard pyromancy of the Great Swamp hurls a fireball. The fire, I'm sorry, the fire damage caused by fireballs makes them effective against corporeal beasts and undead, who by nature fear flame. Ah, so I guess that's why the fire bombs that you get in the beginning are so effective against the asylum demon. Iron Flash. Iron Flash boosts defense and resilience. Use of this pyromancy requires caution as the caster becomes exceedingly heavy and unable to move freely. So I guess that's probably going to um, increase our weight a lot and so we won't be able to roll anymore if we use this. That would be my assumption. Combustion. Create a powerful flame in hand, one of the most basic pyromancies. For this very reason, the flame thus created is fierce. The flaming fire orb explodes upon impact, causing fire splash damage in a spectacle which seems to symbolize the strength of the fire manipulating pyromancers. And then there's the fireball again. Alright. That's all he has to sell. Uh, we could technically purchase some of these cheap spells like the combustion spell and the fireball spell why can I modify my equipment here oh it's just the ah we could in theory upgrade the spell here and it would just do more damage then I see alright uh I think first we... I'm trying. <laughs> but I, I think I already am, so... That, that thing is so weird. Yeah, we have to, to talk to it soon, but for now... I really want to try out if we can even use this. What happens if I... Uh... I guess I probably need a catalyst, right? Because that's what it usually how it usually works. We all already have a tin banishment catalyst, uh, but to use it, we would need more intelligence, of course. Yeah, makes sense. We can also not use the sorceress catalyst, and that's basically all that we have. Mm, that's a shame. We could, of course, work towards that now. Since I suppose... Weapon type, pyromancy, flame. It's a little weird that it gets displayed as a weapon. Like, why would it be separate from the catalyst? I don't really get that. But we'll we'll find out. We'll... Level our intelligence, just so we can try that out. 
we'll at least get 10 intelligence for the first catalyst and then just see if it's worth it. Um, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. For now, we are going to switch back to um, our light crossbow or the longbow. Let's just take the, the longbow for now. I don't use it that often anyway, so I guess we can just unequip it to lower our weight. And then we can just uh, go look what's up with this thing. <laughs> That is so weird. What are you? Oh, so... So... That was some kind of door in the floor. Judging by its teeth, it seems to be a plant eater. It doesn't look dangerous to me. So... Yeah, we can talk to it, actually. So... <laughs> let's just see. Uh, what... That does. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn. I see. Chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Uh huh. Do you seek such enlightenment? Um. <laughs> well, I guess so. Of course, I, I want enlightenment uh, from a great serpent. Uh, of course, I need to write that down as well. Uh, the, 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 what is it? The primordial great serpent, I think it was. Uh, close friend to Gwyn. I don't remember the name, sadly, but... Uh, yeah, we, we do want enlightenment, I think. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Uh, thank you so very much. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn. Is it, though? So that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord, the Lord Vessel. Vessel. Alright, let's write that down. Um, says fate is to link the fire. Um, get rid of dark and cur... What do I do now? <laughs> uh, the curse of the undead. Succeed. Lord Quinn. And we need the Lord Vessel from Anna Londo. Now I finally now know how that name is written. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Well we can feed it items titanite chunks blue titanite chunks or just talk that's interesting what can we feed to it well i'm certainly not feeding it a badge of the ultimate honor where did we get that even <laughs> i don't remember uh not our purging stone certainly not a dung pie <laughs> i mean it's a pie isn't it uh <laughs> i don't think that's I don't think that's um, a good idea, though, to turn the enemy toxic. Uh, it would be funny on a second playthrough to try that, just to see what happens <laughs> if you if you just poison him right away. <laughs> yeah, I know feeding someone or talking to someone—that's that's just love language, am I right? We could feed it souls. I mean, 200 souls isn't really that much. Let's just see what happens when we feed it uh, one of these very small souls that give 200. Wait, why does it say soul value 500? Can I sell them for 500? 
That would be better than activating them then. We can also feed it something from the other... Ah, we can feed it a broken <laughs> straight sword. I don't know if that's a good idea though. Let's just try it with souls first and see what that does. Oh wait, so... I remain here and await thee. Uh Okay, that didn't really do anything. Is that just Is it Is that just another way to sell things? So let's let's just try the broken straight sword. Feed this item. Yes. Farewell, chosen undead. Hmm. I remain here and await thee. Well, <laughs> apparently it can eat uh, broken swords. I am no problem. And I do not want to feed it titanite shards or chunks. I do not want to wish to feed it uh, rings or any other stuff. I think weird mechanic does very little so let's talk to it again those who seek the realm of lords must brave sen's fortress oh. a deadly house of traps many have gone before you but none have returned fate has chosen you but proceed with caution okay so that's probably where we need to go next sen's fortress yeah. So, uh, sends. Hello, hello. Uh, I have no idea what I what I did to uh, ruin my, my notepad. Essentially, um, what the heck? <laughs> Ah, no, uh, fixed it. All right, so, uh, sends fortress, uh, many traps, takes us to realm of lords. That's what we learned now. It's not a lot, but it's something. Farewell, chosen undead. But yeah, um, good to know, man. <laughs> good to know that you. Wait here. Mm. Yeah, I mean, purchasing any spells isn't really of much worth to us. Oh, this guy is gone now. And we also cannot actually restore our humanity here. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, on the other hand, we need to return to the blacksmith anyway. So I suggest we take a little detour, just a little. Oh, my guest, I will be departing with them shortly. Ah, so they're your guests, I'm I see. I will be saying goodbye soon. Oof. All right. Pleasure. Uh, do you have nothing to sell anymore? Oh, miracles, I presume. Ah. Okay. Uh yeah, but they are still way too way too expensive. So I just hope we uh, encounter him again later. I'm really not sure if we have Come again. any chance of getting those later on. But uh, yeah, let's just more not worry about that too much right now. I will be trying to restore my humanity. And then talk to those people again, just to see what happens, if the game reacts in any way. Now these guys haven't respawned. Those two are still there. 
I think we still have one humanity on us. So we don't need to use another new one. Also not entirely sure if um, the symbol beneath our stamina gauge actually means that we have a world tendency like in demon souls I'm not entirely sure so we can reverse our hollowing no we have no humanity all right well let's use a the humanity then one humanity greatly restore hp wait yeah it's fine one humanity there we go and then we can reverse our hollowing There we go. All right. Now we are happy again. Look at that face. <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, let me quickly check if we need to... No, I don't think we need to. And I also don't think we can actually upgrade anything right now. So... This is, of course, where we probably need to go next that I, I suppose that's probably sense fortress but i still want to try if i can now interact with the lady in a different way that i could before because they did say i shouldn't approach her while hollow Go, go, go. Nah, that didn't work. There we go. Nice. That's how you do it. Great. Timing is still a little odd in my opinion, but... I noticed that about uh, parrying an Elden Ring as well. The, the timing on that is so weird because you always have to go through a wind-up animation then you have a few frames where you can actually parry and then you have a recovery animation from the parrying so it's not like in Sekiro where you just parry 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 you have a, a wind-up an active phase which you need to uh, link to or, or, or hit the right timing for no <laughs> oh that's a shame they're already gone. <laughs> well, I, I should have thought of that, probably. Uh, he's still here, though. So, he's also still here. But I don't think they will offer much new dialogue. Uh, is that other guy also? Yeah, he's also still here. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he still hasn't anything for us. So, I guess where we need to go is the fortress now. I am slightly scared. <laughs> but we'll be fine. It will be alright. We will get through this. Hey, Tease! Nice you seeing, uh, seeing you here. Sense Fortress Funhouse. It certainly didn't uh, sound like it, to be honest. Filled with the most fun. Well, I, th I thought that uh, Blight Town was the most fun. Wasn't that what, what you told me was so fun? There we go. Great. I just really need to understand the timing, then it will be very useful, I guess. Right, almost there. We already saw that the Onion Knight has seemingly already departed inside. And that we just need to catch up with him. We need a lot of souls for our next level up. We could technically see if we can achieve that with 
what runes we with, with what souls we have. Mm. Let's see if we can get one more level up. How much does that give? 3,000? Not too bad, not too bad. So if we use one more of those... And then... I guess probably... I, I think 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 would be my guess. Yeah, nice. I think this should... Ah, we still need a little more than 200. Okay, so this one gives 200. This one should give us what we need. Onion Knight is a true king. Uh, he seems more like a knight to me, but... Get two damage increase, but I think... Of course, we need to level intelligence as well, just to try that out. But I think we should probably spend this on vitality for now, just to get our life bar a little bit bigger. Endurance would have been good too, now that I think about it. That is probably what I'm going to level next. Because our health bar is pretty big at this point, depending on how, how hard the boss hits. So let's see. Oh, of course. Traps are starting. And I can already see uh, these disturbing creatures. Bro, how tanky are they? That is insane. Just the biggest HP sponges ever. Wow. Okay, there we go. Still safe. Ah, they can also snap forward. I see. Nah, that wasn't too good. Heal. Only weak damage. Yeah, indeed. Oops. <laughs> I lowered my shield too early there. Why is he still not dead? Okay, one of them. No, no, no. Ah, that was stupid. Well, why is my, my damage so weak then? If you don't even remember them being so tanky. Is my level too low? I don't think so, is it? Let's try and parry them. See if that does anything. No, that was too early. That was way too early. Ah, too early. Again. I just really wanted to try it, to parry it. Almost. There we go. Alright. We also don't give that many souls, to be honest. We're already down to one Estus Flask, which is not great. Hmm. We could theoretically rest here. Are they just that resistance, uh, resistant against our weapon type, maybe? Uh, it's a regular weapon. Hmm. Return. All right. Oh yeah, so I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't die. Should really try not dying. Uh, that is not very encouraging. <laughs> Maybe the weapon is close to breaking. No, uh, we fixed it. We fixed it last time. 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, our dur durability is 196 out of 200. That's not bad. 201. Yeah, sure, but... Even then... Like, I still need to defend myself. I can't do that if I two-hand it. Um, unfortunately, they do respawn. Just going to lure one of them out here. I mean, it's alright as long as it's not both of them at, at the same time. Oh, that was cheap. Oh no! I should have remembered that. Why was that 72 all of a sudden? That's the two strikes. There we go. And he's done. Mm. It's fine. I guess. As long as I can fight them one on one. Nope. <laughs> and that was a mistake already. <laughs> this is why we need the black halberd. I guess. That damage is really low, though. What do we need for that? Oh, we need so much strength for that, though. That's... That's nine level ups total. That's just too much, man. Oh, I need to update the death counter. That was not pleasant at all. <laughs> I imagine it could be worth practicing them now. Ah, uh, now it's both of them again. That's not good. Oh, wait! They can walk on top of the trap! That's interesting, of course. That is, of course, quite interesting. This is two-handed, so it's... Okay, it is roughly... Not exactly double, but somewhere in that area. Damn it, I, sh I really need to remember that. Okay, uh, my idea is that we should probably get them to walk on top of the trap again. That might be an intended way to lower their health, I think. The snakes are resistant to slash damage. Oh, I see. Uh, how about... How about pierce damage? Is that better against them? And this is thrust damage. Let's see if that is any better, but I fear probably not. So we could just... Wait, is, is the trap not there anymore? Why is it not here anymore? Have they just deactivated it? That sucks. Like when I walked on top of it, it it respawned, but... Oh no, that's, that's even worse. That is so much worse. 
So no, we're not doing that. That is so much worse. <laughs> Alright. Let's just... Um We do have the great club, but we can't use it yet. We need three more strength for that. Yeah, we do have this one. We have the Morning Star, which we could try, but. Condul. Oh! That is an idea, but we are down to heavy weight then. Ah, now we are down to medium again. So I guess we can try this. I don't get why the trap would despawn though after after they activate it. That's such a strange decision. Could have broaden your ways, yeah, I guess. What the hell? Nope. <laughs> that is still terrible. Oh, or was it blocked? I think it was blocked damage, right? Yeah, no, that's still terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Why, though? Why are they so tanky? Yeah, they're just not having it. The, the snakes, they, they just... They just don't like me. <laughs> also, how in the world did I just... Uh, target just one of them on one try? One try it was just one of them. Ah, now maybe? Was that successful? I think that was successful. Now we can fight them one on one, I think. Backstabs are a nice idea, but they're still so... Ah, there we go. All right. All right. That's better. So I guess that's probably really the way to go. The other one? Where is it even? Ah, there it is. There we go. Yeah, backstabs are nice, but really hard to pull off. Still. He's tired, yeah. <laughs> he just needs to lay down. That is so stupid. I don't support that at all. Like, backstabbing is really not that rewarding. Of course it gives you the, the big damage. But if they are on the ground, defenseless, why am I not able to hit them? That is bullshit. It's so stupid. Alright. Well, that helped. Now, I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> Just zero counter for backstabs. Well, I think so. Uh, will those pieces of armor just magically attack me now? No, I don't think so. So, <laughs> again, one of my least favorite pieces of just FromSoft game design. <laughs> Putting stuff somewhere that looks really cool and really useful, but you can't pick it up. Why? <laughs> I've only seen the little jump backwards. Yeah. But a jump backwards doesn't really help against against the backstab, right? What in the world is that? Oh, wow. 
So this is Sans Fortress, I see. <laughs> yeah, I'm able to see you, yeah. I mean, your text in chat is clearly visible. That's that's not an issue at all. Let's just go past here. I do kind of believe probably there'll be more to this than just the swinging axes. At some point, there will just be like a blast of fire coming from the top or something. Yeah, there we go. Of course. Because why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Okay. Time to heal. What now? Do they just... Do they just uh, jump down or something? I don't think so. I mean, I saw it coming too. Uh, let's see if we have anything with better lightning resistance. This is already pretty high, so I don't think so. 24, I think is that one, right? Fire, lightning, 24 is not too bad. It's also overall better, it seems. This one has 25. Uh, so I guess let's wear this one then. The crimson robe. Anything with a higher lightning defense here? I don't think so. No, the gargoyle hat is still best. Quickly see if we have better gauntlets. No, we don't. And better trousers. Probably this, this one is so good though. Wow. That's so good. Yeah, nice. I'm a little fat, I think. <laughs> no shame in that. Okay, let's go. We we have to be quick, I think. Go, 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 go. Nice. And now we can seek shelter here. Yeah, now they can't just here. So let's go from pillar to pillar to avoid their damage. And get back here. Oh, I see. And now we can technically get to it. What even is that? That looks like some kind of knight, actually. Which I'm already pretty confident I won't be able to do much damage to. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> this will be fun. I don't know why I'm so fat, man. <laughs> you would think that with all the all the activity that my character is doing, he would be pretty tra well trained. Mm, yeah, we could try sniping him with a bow. Although I don't really know how to do that. Ah, like this. Okay, let's let's try this. What? That was clearly not in front of the wall. That is so bad, man. Okay, that does nothing. <laughs> That's just not worth it. That's just really not worth it at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared. This is how some people feel in real life when they're buying the clothing, clothing from online that looks slim and sleek. <laughs> yeah, we have a limited number of arrows, so that won't do too much. 
So now we have to evade the axes and the lightning lizard. That's not great. Because it attacks pretty frequently. And I think the distance between the axes is also a little smaller now. But yeah, let's just go for it. We, we have to start somewhere, right? Yeah, that got blocked. Nice. Nice. It fell. Very nice. Alright. That was good. Can heal a little bit. Oh, another trap. I see. Is that invisible? I don't know. Person the strat run, dodge through lightning, run past, kill. Yeah, nice. Why would I show mercy? Now the thing is... Thing is... I don't trust this. <laughs> I do not trust this. So... I will be carefully ignoring this. This is a, a, a fortress made out of traps. Th that will... I, I do know about mimics, unfortunately. I mean, they're pretty standard in, in Japanese games at this point. But of course, normally a player would probably just run through that and try to pick up the chest. Oh. Hi there. Well, that was nice. <laughs> but this will be difficult to get a backstab on. So let's retreat into this room. You can recognize them by by what exactly? I, I mean, let's let's let me try to figure it out. That did not work, unfortunately. That worked. Nice. There we go. Nice. The man serpent great sword. So these are man serpents, I guess. What does it look like? What is it? All oh, right. It was also one question if we should try to use the server going forward and level that up. But let's let's not do that for now. Uh, I wanted to look up the great sword. Where is it? There it is. Man Serpent Great Sword. It's a great sword, obviously. We could use it, technically. Of course, it's not as strong as our halberd right now. This single bladed bloodstained great sword is the choice weapon of the slithering serpent men of Sen's fortress. An ordinary human will have great difficulty swinging his this heavy beast effectively. I mean, let's try. I'm just gonna try for a moment. What the chest had the strongest weapon? Well, <laughs> we will not know for this playthrough. Ah, uh, that's very heavy. He's swinging it pretty low. Let me let me see. By what would I be able to tell that it's a mimic? There, there is a chain attached to it. Is that something that, or is it just the, is it just the shape of the chest that tells us that this is a mimic? I mean, I'm, I do, I'm not even sure if it's a mimic. <laughs> Open it. Why would I? This is literally the the trap fortress. You're really going to, going to put me through this? All right. I mean, your watchers demanded. All right. All right. We'll just die. What the hell? That was actually not a mimic. <laughs> and for a short moment, I I was under the impression that there were some some fingers or something coming out of it. 
Man, I was just too scared there. Just because I was assuming that it would be a trap. Okay, so there's a soldier there. What's wrong with you? You seem pretty normal. No, I, I still... I still do not get backstabs. It's still something I just I just don't understand. Meow. It's so weird. It's so weird. I guess we were also lucky that <laughs> no, Oh, oh, oh. That was the boulder. I saw something there. I saw something there. Or was that something else? I, I thought that boulder would have crushed us. It's coming. And then, what's happening? Then it just goes to the right. Huh. Alright. I guess. So now there's just boulders coming through here. And another um, lizard that shoots lightning. I mean, it doesn't do that much damage to us. The boulders are certainly the bigger threat. But we we need to run so far. That's not great. So if we get stunned by the lightning, I imagine then we're dead because the the rock will um will get us. But if we evade evade the lightning, then we're probably gonna be fine. So let's as soon as that one passes us, let's try. Start running, 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 running. Oh, there's a save point there. Let's go in there. <laughs> nice! There we go. Now we can traverse the white light. Hey, that didn't go too too bad. Uh, let's look out for traps on the floor. So far I don't see any. There's one. There I see you. Boss fight, not yet. No when to look back. Sun Tzu. Why though? No, I'm just I'm just going to push forward. Or am I not? I mean there's still the door, you're right. So maybe we should still get up there. Which shouldn't be too hard. Let's just let the ball pass us and then see what's here. Careful. Ah, there's another chest. So what about this one? It looks just like the other one. To me. It looks fine. There we go. Alright. The Ring of Steel Protection. That's nice. Uh, it boosts defense versus physical attacks. We take that. Oh, is that our other one? That's probably... Ah, that's the other buff that we have on us. I guess let's exchange our small increase of HP against this. That's probably more useful. So now we can surely... <laughs> Survive the boulders. No, we, do, we, do, we clearly don't. But it will be helpful, for certain. Okay, so uh, I guess we need to roll over this. Ah, damn. We could have used that against the lizard, I guess. Oh boy, he coming. <laughs> he coming. Ah, oh, first try. It's getting better. Yeah, of course not every try is going to work. Yeah, there we go. So many snacks here. Yeah. Can't say I particularly like that. 
anything around the corners? I don't think so. We already defeated it. It's pretty loud here. Does the ball roll through here? Yeah, there it is. Mm. I don't really trust being safe in the corner or something. Oh, there's another one. Or would I be safe here? I would certainly hope I am. <laughs> but I'm not sure. Let's find out. No! Ah! No. I am definitely not safe there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so many serpent men around. I believe this is the time for Elden Ring boss fight. Why Elden Ring? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there are Serpent Men in that game as well, but... How would I be able to run through there? What the hell? Okay, I mean, there, there might be another safe zone down there. We just have to see. Run, run, run. Run after it. And then, yeah, I guess... Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And we're probably safe here. Yeah, nice. Okay, we found a ladder. Good. Whew. All right. Oh, they, they are falling down here. I see. Um. Dead end or not? Are they stacking up here? Oh, they're stacking up. It's literally a big size serpent man. Oh, that's what you mean, yeah. Mm. Oh, and I guess once they are fully stacked up, they will change direction. So we need to go this way now. Oh no, alright, it's fine. I don't trust this. Ah, it's moving! It's that simple, right? I think I saw a little movement there. Yeah, it's moving. Alright. So we ain't opening that one. Yeah, it's very sus. Yeah, we, are, we are not opening that. Thank you very much. So there's an, an elevator here? No, I'm not opening it! I don't want to die, man. Okay, what now? Is there maybe a... I hope this is not a trap door. Is there maybe a lever here that would make me turn off the balls? The Steam member of Critters community demand you open... Oh, no. <laughs> ah, and if I hadn't gotten off, I would have died. I see. Right. We might open one at some point, once we are strong enough to deal with them. Right now, though, I just don't feel like dying, man. Demand you to hit it. I mean, we could try that. That does sound like it makes sense. So let's see if we can get back down. Just need to get the timing right, I guess. Now. No, 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 no. That was a lot of damage. Damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> that is scary. Still not getting any backstabs in, unfortunately. is so ugly. But at least our damage isn't as bad anymore. Okay. Let's see. No! No. We ain't doing that. No, no. Not today. 
I don't even know if you can backstab it. I'm not sure. Okay, now it's dead. So what did it... A lightning spear? That actually sounds decent. Lightning spear. Attack isn't too bad. Of course it's a, a thrust weapon. Standard spear used commonly by soldiers. Long reach and can be used with shield up. Effective against hard exteriors and can hit for high damage at the right moment of an enemy's swing. But the hit radius is small and it is easily blocked by shields. Huh, interesting. You could try that out. Maybe it's more effective against the lizard man than our... Our weapon. So that could be worth it, indeed. Okay, now we just need to get off at the right time. There we go. Alright, let's see. What is next? Probably more traps, I imagine. Oh no. It does not open from this side. I see. I mean, I don't get it. But I see, I guess. Oh, do we need to go up there? I guess so, yes. We probably need to get, go up there. Or do they change directions once we step out here? Because that looks scary. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's still going into that direction. Okay, so we should be safe here. More or less. Ah, we can change the direction ourselves. Is that it? Interesting. So who changed it before? Someone else must have changed it then. I guess. Oh, and we can actually... If we push the lever... I guess that should change it into that direction, right? Interesting mechanic, I see. What happens with it? Does it actually reach the other side? I don't see I don't think so. So we should be safe from the boulders now. I would certainly hope so. Now we need to somehow find out how to open that door. That seems fine. So much noise around here, I don't even know what to listen to, or what to pay attention to. There's a trap on the floor. Nice. Alright. We avoided that. Is there another one? I don't think so. Great. Okay, what's around the corner? No enemies here? Alright. That's good. But what is that? That certainly looks like it could awaken at any time, but it's just another one of those armors I see. Have we already been here or not? Oh, they are so close. Oh no. Oh no. We need to get through that very, very quickly, I guess. I don't think we can evade any of those. So I guess we probably need to get rid of our stuff. I think that should make us uh, run faster. We need to be so quick. Damn. And I'm kind of scared of weird hitboxes again. I'm very scared. That the hitboxes might be very janky. 
Yeah, I guess the helmet doesn't do much. <laughs> if we get hit by one of those, we're dead anyway, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. This is not good. Okay. Three, two, one. Run, 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 run. Nice. There we go. Alright. Try to re-equip everything. I hope I'm not being attacked right now. Uh, I know that's not the right gloves, but I don't care. Good enough for the moment. Okay, there we go. What the hell is even attacking us? Oh, is it you? I don't think so, right? Ah, that does more damage, at least. No, I do not get backstabs still. They are so freaking unreliable. Okay. Damage is better, certainly. So that's good quickly put on our better gloves again. I think it was this one. Uh, is there a trap on the floor? I don't see one. I think it's a bug. Ah, there we go. It's a cobra. There we go. Nice. Alright, we got rid of that one. See what is behind this corner? Another regular one. We should be able to deal with that. And I, I think probably it will deal more damage whenever he, his head is down. That's what I would imagine. No, okay. That did not work. Probably one wrong distance. Wait, are there more than one right now? No. I don't see another one. Hey! Why did my character turn around? And now I'm blocked again by some wall. Of course. I hate backstabs. I hate this mechanic because it's so unreliable. I would really like to know my backstab damage with this one. 267. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. But it's so unreliable. Very, very frustrating. Backstabs the enemy cannot be in an enemy. Oh, so that's one additional factor in it. I see. All of that for two <laughs> large titanite shards. I see. Well, at least the spear is slightly better for for this place. What do you mean, please zip? Okay, there's just some more axes here. Oh, you mean heal. That's nah, fine. Oh yeah, this will be annoying. This will be very annoying, I see. Is there any way we can get to it? I don't suppose we can from this side. What's this? This looks like we are just going to die. So this does not look good, to be honest. And I suppose we probably also can't do much about it. Does it follow us? I don't think so. Let's quickly exchange that for something else. 
maybe for... It would be very good to have a decent ranged attack here, I will admit that. Let's try a black fire bomb. Yeah, there we go. That was my plan. Question is, can I hit it with it? Oh! Okay, that was a lot. Nice. Good idea. I just hope there's not a second one somewhere around here, but I don't think so. I don't see one. Okay, so there's just three... No, there's four axes again. And I suppose we need to get through all of them again. Let's quickly see how fast we are running right now. Yeah, this is slow. This is slow. Time to get naked again. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, this is this is the fast pace, I think. Don't think we can get any quicker than that, to be honest. Watch out for the wonky hitboxes. All right. Three, two, one. Run, 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 run. There we go. Oh! Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Okay. I didn't even stand on the trap. Why did it attack me? And this would be the way that you reach that enemy, the melee way. I see. So, uh... <laughs> Another death pit here. I certainly hope that this is not already a boss door. I really hope it's not. <laughs> because we have no heals left. Please don't be a boss. Okay, it's not. Great. Or is it? Oh, so that guy is putting the boulders inside the machine. I see. So we probably have to kill him in order to not have to deal with those anymore. Now what we have to check, of course, is if there is any shortcuts here. Bonfire? What do you mean bonfire? Is there one here? Go back and left? What? Back here? Back here? Oh. Outrageously hidden. Ah, you mean left from here. <laughs> well, it would be nice if we could talk to them, but no one wants to talk to us in this game. Oh! Oh! What's that? Who did that? <laughs> what the hell? Where does that even come from? Drop down right? What the hell? Are you serious? Can we can we stop that? Can we somehow stop that? Look at the edge. Oh there! That's what you mean. Switch to fire protection, yeah, probably a good idea. What the hell? What the hell? How? So I have to drop down there. Is that right? Oh yes, yeah, someone is throwing that uh, at us. I see. So we would be able to kill them properly at some point. What the hell? That is that is absurd. Wow, that is absolutely absurd. How would you find that ever? That is horrible. Um, I mean, I guess let's get more into strength because we want to be able to use the the Black Halberd at, at some point. 
<laughs> you, you totally didn't stress me out at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, what the hell? That is absurdly hidden. Oh, and here we can go back to this staircase and then... I see. Now we can retry. I mean, I can, I can hardly imagine what it must be like to know what's coming and just see me run right into it. Okay, let's go, go, go. It's coming here. Switch first. Uh, yeah, at some point. Don't worry. We're just running right now. It's fine. Where's our fire protection? There's some good fire protection. It really severely uh, lowers our other defenses, though. This is overall very good, but has very low magic protection, sadly. I don't think we have anything that would give us a good middle ground. This is this one that has terrible, terrible defenses across the board and only good fire defense. I think I'm gonna stick with the red coat for now, just for the other stats that it increases. Maybe look for... Now these are already our best. What about this? We don't have a lot of equipment right now. I think we're just going to stick with this, honestly. Have fun exploring. Uh, thanks. I don't think it's that fun so far. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Yeah, I guess for these ones, uh, our halberd would be better again. The spear is still good, though. Entire Black Knights that can be dropped. I see. Come on. You can do this. There we go. Alright. One less. Mm, is there anything here, though? Doesn't look like it. There's nothing here. Nothing here at all! <laughs> to quote Rex from Xenoblade 2. This place is a maze, yeah, probably. To see. Any anyone here? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Ah, oh, there's another staircase here. So we just need to watch out for fire raining down on us. Am I right? Okay. Pretty says hi. Say hi back from me. Good to hear from her. Hope she's fine. Oh. Is that a black knight? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, my head is starting to hurt a little bit. I should adjust my headphones a little. And uh, read again what exactly the weapon description says. Uh, effect against hard exterior. So, I guess... Probably, this should be effective against that guy. Yeah, we just need to turn towards him and we'll be fine. Because we can block the arrows. Oh, but we cannot block that. <laughs> we certainly cannot block that.
Oh yeah, that's pretty effective, actually. So I'm coming. Uh, why though? Who's throwing those? I I still don't have any idea where that's coming from. Oh wow, there's a big dude down there. Very big dude. And that certainly <laughs> that certainly does look like a boss fight. I will try to see what's up here. Ah, there we go. What the heck? Ah, now we can attack him. Where, where is even his... Ah, there is his life. So we just wait until he's exhausted and then we attack him again. Just a little annoying that you can't even see his health bar. Okay, let's gain some distance again. Come here. Come on. I know you want to attack us. What do you mean? You don't want to attack us again. Ah, there we go. Just let him stop a little. Have his little tantrum. And then, go for it. This is so annoying. There we go, nice. So, I figure... My guess would be that this is an enemy that doesn't respawn. Wait. Wait. Are you telling me, if I hadn't done that, that we he would have thrown firebombs at us for the entire boss fight? <laughs> Am I implying that correctly? Inferring, sorry, not implying, inferring. Am I inferring that correctly? Maybe. I take that as a yes. A defini definitive yes. Alright, so we know how to get here now. We can probably get here fairly quicker now that the fire is gone. We probably need to fight that thing next, which is fine. It would, be al would also make for a decent goal for today, I think. Can still check what's in here. Maybe an NPC or something? No, just a ta table and some chairs. Hmm. Alright, that's not a lot. So, I guess we will try this, and I think since uh, this new spear has helped us quite a lot since, since now, we might as well keep using it for this fight. I am going to go to the, toilet, uh, to the bathroom for a moment, real quick, because otherwise I will not be able to concentrate at all. So, see you in a moment.
All right, we're back. I imagine that guy responds after that. <laughs> Bonsai save, save first. Why would I? The game is saved either way. Bonfire would only replenish one Estes flask. I'm not sure if we need that at all. Only you got randomly backstabbed. <laughs> yeah, would have been funny. So yeah, th thanks for telling me where the bonfire is. I mean, I imagine at this point I would have probably wondered where it was because it's clearly going to be a boss fight here. And not having a bonfire at all for this boss would have been just too much. I don't think even Dark Souls would not do that to the player. I don't believe it. I would imagine he's probably also killable, but only from afar, as far as I can tell. I'm not jumping over there. Alright. Um, yeah, let's see. Boss time. Hope you're ready. It's been an honor going through Sans Fortress with you. Let's try and finish this. The Iron Golem. Oh! So he sends out like a shockwave. There we go, very nice. That is not effective at all though. I suppose we don't even need to try and block anything he does. Nah, no, that was a shame. We seem to be fairly safe between his legs. Yeah, this fight is fine so far. As long as we don't get hit, of course. Oh, and we did get hit. <laughs> okay. Need to find a safe spot for our healing, real quick. Which is here. We cannot directly aim at his legs or anything. So... Yeah, I jinxed it. I know, it was my own fault. <laughs> Look me just attacking his balls at this point. <laughs> That's so mean. But, as everyone knows, you can't survive without your kneecaps, so... What am I gonna do? <laughs> Man, we are just bullying him. The camera is a little suboptimal on this one. Ah, now he's starting to use his feet as well. I see. I see. Yeah, for such a big guy, he certainly hops around a lot. There we go. Still doing good damage. Good damage here. Wait, is he... He's... he's exhausted. Interesting. Oh, now, now he fell down. Do I need to target anything in particular here? Or is it just... smack him? 
All right. That was good. Nice little vulnerability phase. Ah, that was close. There we go. All right. Mm. Core of an iron golem. And we received one humanity. Fun part of the battle is making him hop off the edge. Yeah, I was wondering if something like that uh, could work. Well, it's just easier this way, you know. Uh, we can examine the ring of light that he left behind. What does that do? Oh. <laughs> Classic Demon Souls moment. Getting kidnapped by some weird looking demons and taken to an entirely other place. Great ones, hear my call. Oh. Pretty. Is that Paris? <laughs> Nice. So this is Anna Orlando. After so many years, uh, just hearing people say that in videos over and over, Anna Orlando, Anna Orlando. I finally not only know how to write it, but also how it looks. That is cool, man. Look at that scenery. I wish there was a photo mode, actually. I mean, it's certainly not the prettiest graphics, of course. This is other London. <laughs> and I guess probably by talking to this guy, we can get taken back again. I'm just doing that because we should uh, quickly... Yeah, all right. They, they just take me back. They're so friendly. It's so nice. Uh, very ugly, but very helpful and very nice. <laughs> uh, we should just quickly go back to the bonfire and spend our our souls. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, I have to be honest. Uh, those guys, they're just not pretty at all. This bonfire and Anna not... Yeah, I, I mean, I, f I figure... But who knows when? <laughs> who knows when we will find our next bonfire? That is always so hard to tell. Fast? Uh, there's, there's also some things I haven't explored here, though. There's an item I left on the ground. So I kind of want to get that. I know you want to see me get, get into Anna Londo. Probably. There's still stuff here. Wait, wasn't there another big dude over there? I'm not entirely sure, but... Yeah, there's an item still there, which I did collect. Uh, wonder if we can get there somehow. Or if we came from there. That's also possible, of course. Yeah, we should definitely not drop down there. Hmm. Ah, yeah, right. I remember now. So this is basically the place where I remember thinking... Yeah, technically, you could probably kill him from here. But, on the other hand, it's probably not the best idea to aggro him. I don't want to try jumping over there. Because <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll make it. Let's just quickly grab the item. And, I mean, we can 
at that point also just continue to Anna Londo. I was just really uh, trying to see if I was missing something big. Is there any other way to reach him? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. He's, he's probably just... Just environmental obstacle. Use arrows. I don't... I, I will not be doing remotely enough damage to kill him. Let's get the item. Alright, the bonfire was down there, but I mean, since you saw... Uh, since you are saying that we will get to a bonfire soon... Uh, yeah, that detour wasn't really uh, worth it in the end, but... And I'm kind of afraid if I if I try to snipe him from here, he might get aggroed and actually attack us instead of throwing the balls down there. So I would rather not do that while carrying around 44,000 souls. Mm. I certainly hope we come across a blacksmith soon again. wonder how many levels this will be good for. Should be enough for f five levels at least. Spend the souls first, yeah, exactly. But since T said that the next bonfire isn't that far, we'll just take his word and not waste more time than we need to. Can we skip this, actually, or is it... Ah, oh, yeah, we can skip it, nice. So, let's see. Uh, we are now in Anna Londo. I will switch back to our... Halberd plus five now, since that other one was probably mostly useful for the other area. Yeah, this does look really cool. It's so interesting how much just light uh, makes a difference. It looks a little bit like a a toy castle from here. Oh. Tease, you were saying? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> He's cute, uh, I guess. I think I will switch back to the lightning spear again, because that seemed to be good against these guys in armor. No, wait. Uh, no, I can't talk to him. For a moment there, you had me thinking I could talk to him. That would have been fun. And he also has an enormous reach. One where I don't think I can even... ...effectively block his attacks or anything. There's more? There's three of them? Please don't let another one jump down from the heavens or something. Left? Where? What do you mean, left? Do you mean here? Where do you mean? I'm just gonna wait for it. Okay, he's retreating. That's good. <laughs> Type fast. Ah, is it just in there? Confusing the situation for case. Yeah, that's good. You're responsible for for making this entertaining, of course. Not making it too simple, of course. Alright, so we found a bonfire. We are in the presence of some strange person. We cannot actually light this bonfire, I see. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome yeah, first time here. Chosen one. A revelation shall visit you. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Hmm. Alright. Oh, we can reinforce our Astus Flask here? We need a Firekeeper Soul to reinforce the, uh, the Astus Flask. Why would I kill her? Uh, she seems pretty useful. Hmm. What is it? What am I? 
Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. Mm -hmm. That is my calling. Well, uh, great for you, I guess. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. Mm -hmm. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet I see. The keepers of these flames meet. I see. So that's why it was called Firelink Shrine. <laughs> now, killing at this point is probably not worth it. Would be my guess. I know this is Dark Souls, but always worth... Why? Am I even gonna get her armor if I do? Am I even gonna get that? Be honest. Am I going to get more than just a few souls and need to try it once? But why on this one? The thing is, the firekeeper of the of the firelink shrine was killed, and now I can't li light the fire there anymore. Why would I do that? She's lying. Why? If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. I'm sorry, but uh, on this one, I I just don't I don't trust you right now. Let's see how how far we can level our strength. Only, only four levels. That's all. I mean, it is a damage increase is almost non-existent. That is sad. That is so sad. Why is it so low? Oh, because we are wielding the lightning spear right now, and then not the gargoyle's halberd. I need to equip that, of course. Still only one point of damage increase? Are you kidding me? Ah, no, the right-hand weapon is... Uh, I was just paying attention to the wrong number. That is still not a lot. Just six points of damage increase from four level ups. That's not a lot. But, of course, we need to do this in order to be able to use the Black Halberd at some point. So, let's try it, I guess. Oh, we could also invest two points into Intelligence, so we can try out the magic spells. On the other hand, let's prioritize the Black Halberd, I guess. Alright. I think that's probably better. Hmm... That's probably everything that we will do right now. Hmm. You have survived. Impressive. You, what do you mean you survived? Ah, oh, that's time. it's just that her dialogue is dialogue is exhausted. I see. So yeah, uh, we don't have a firekeeper soul. Mm, and I need to note real quick, uh, fire keepers tend to linked bonfires, no, not regular ones, and can never meet. There we go. It's hot and fast. And the good thing is, one aspect why I'm also not going to attack her totally not, is uh, because we get 10 Estus Flasks here again. Kill him, it's worth it. No, why would I? Why would I, though? Seriously, like, that's also not something that I would do on my first playthrough. Pretty sure. Let's see what's here. Ah, there's a lift. I see. Why would I destroy the next firelink shrine that I or firelink bonfire that I find? That seems stupid. <laughs> Straight up. It's an interesting lift they got there. Now it just goes up and down indefinitely, I guess.
I mean, I might look up what exactly you get from her if you kill her, but... Oh, there's... Really? They do that in this game as well? Reusing enemies. <laughs> Hi there. Wow, that does almost no damage whatsoever. Maybe I should try the lightning lance uh, again after all. Maybe that's just better. Oh, he's got new moves, I guess. Ouch. Ah, that was not good. Guess I better two-hand and try just evading everything that he throws at me. Yeah. I think that's probably the better option. Ah, that was quicker than I thought. That was very much quicker than I thought. Damn it. The animation is so long. I, I kind of forgot about that. Why? Why though? <laughs> I hate this enemy. It's still such a weird enemy. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like I've already forgotten everything I learned from the boss fight against them. Let's try it again, but with the lightning spear. Question is, of course, also what awaits us once we get past it. Like, I don't expect it to get really easy suddenly afterwards. But I mean, we, ha we have to try. This is also probably one of the few things that we will do today. Meow again? Really? We already had that last time. Okay. Um... Uh, let's see. Let's just see if this works better. Okay. Reclaim the souls. Damn it. It's so quick. It is so quick. It is so quick. And the damage isn't that great, after all. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a corner again. It is so stupid. I swear, that should not be possible. In my opinion. In my humble opinion, I should be able to roll out of a corner. That, that should not be the reason why I die. Uh, on the other hand, the, the damage wasn't that great, was it? I don't think so. What do you mean you'll do me? <laughs> oh man, it's like I have to th learn this fight all over again. Which is really embarrassing to be honest. Of course, it's mostly the heals that are so... So counterintuitive again. It's so annoying. Where are my souls? 
Why can I not see them? Excuse me? They just disappeared? Oh, 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 shit. What was that? Hey! Don't do me like that. <laughs> where, where are they? Are you kidding me? They're just gone. Oh, they're here. Oh, of course, in the corner where I got stuck. Wait, now we can just run past them. Ah, and there's a dead end. Bro, the camera is so stupid. The camera is so dumb. One of the worst cameras I've ever seen. At least against this enemy. Bro. Okay, managed to evade one. Wasn't I able to target their tails before? Doesn't seem to be possible now anymore though. What the hell? What's that? That's new. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. I swear. Ah, there we go. Got another gargoyle's halberd and a gargoyle's shield. <laughs> Did I get a rare one again? Or something? Why is this still so bad? Yeah, it has better fire, uh, ma magic and lightning defense at least, I guess. But only 85 physical defense, that is so bad. You'd think that stuff like this would be crazy powerful, but it just isn't. Well, you can drop down here for some reason. <laughs> I wish we could refine something. For example, the halberd. That would be very practical, right? But unfortunately, that's just another thing. Oh, that's that's all? Is it just another way around us? Could drop down there, but I don't see anything worthwhile there. Wait, there is a door. Or does that only lead to the other way of the staircase again? No, it doesn't. So, we should try that out, I guess. Where does this lead? Oh, it does lead to the other side. What is this? Why didn't I see... Ah, it's even further down. That's why I didn't see it. That's a shame. So, nothing here, after all. Well... I guess that was okay. No idea if that counted as a mini boss or anything. Did I miss any deaths, by the way? Did I forget to update them at, at any point? Or are we good? I just review it on the on the video on demand and then maybe update it if necessary. Alright, uh, let's go back to the bonfire and save and we will be continuing this on the next stream. There's so many of those knights here, so I guess the best strategy will probably go just run through for the first time. 
I will see if we can level up once more. We cannot see how much we need for a level up here, I guess. No. We actually cannot. But I will just use a Sword of Proud Knight and just see if that's enough. Uh, her helmet is cool, for sure. I totally agree. It's just... Why would I kill her when she's still uh, of use to me? And I could improve my Estus class with her. It would be pr pretty stupid to do that, in my opinion. <laughs> I would never have come up with that idea. To just outright attack her. Okay, another 800 souls. Perfect. And then we cut, couldn't can still put that into strength. I think we should do that so that we can at some point use the Black Halberd. Great. So, I think that was rather successful. That was okay. One more boss fight. Not too many deaths. Of course, a few deaths here and there. It was alright, I think. It wasn't as bad as Blight Town. Very much better than that. It's very video gamey in a way, but very, very much fine. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for joining. I think this is a good point to to resume it. Died the least this time. No, no, actually, the least times we die. Or how many are we at? We are at sixty-three. So this is. Um, this is equal with our very first stream. Because there we also had only three deaths. <laughs> then the second stream went just complete mayhem with over 20 deaths to the gargoyles and the other mobs. Uh, third stream and fourth stream, of course, was Blight Town, which was just pain. <laughs> and now we started at 60, so we had another three deaths, so it's exactly as many as we had on our very first stream. That's kind of cool. So yeah, thanks a lot for being around. See you next time. And I hope you'll have a great uh, great rest of the day. Great evening, good night, or good morning, depending on what time zone you're in. And we'll see each other next time to explore more of Anna Londo, where we finally arrived. That's, that's cool. I'm looking forward to that. See ya, bye.